Well, with the Blue Angels in Owensboro ahead of this weekend's air show, flying one of the jets is the Blue Angels' first female pilot. Eyewitness News Sydney Davis talked with her today. The U.S. Navy's Blue Angels are gearing up for their 23rd show of the year in Owensboro. There are a few tweaks to the routine for new and improved shows each year. And this year, a historic twist involving Lieutenant Commander Amanda Lee. The first female fighter jet pilot, a part of the elite flight demonstration, breaks the glass ceiling. I never set out to be a first. I set out to be the best and kind of found myself here. Try to be the best at whatever you're doing at that moment in time will open up doors for incredible opportunities. It's her first time in western Kentucky and her first time flying with both an airport and river within a five-mile radius of the show. Come in as all six aircraft, um, and then we'll kind of split up, and we'll have diamond solos. We'll get all back together towards the end of the show, have all six aircraft uh, perform some aerobatic maneuvers at the end. But first, we got Fat Albert performing their flight demonstration before we come on board. The Fat Albert is flown by an all-Marine Corps crew. A rigorous training begins in Pensacola, Florida in November, with pilots racking up around 400 flying hours a year to prepare for the 45-minute show. She says they practice how they play so they can operate as safe as possible. We'll have two flights today. The first one is to look at checkpoints. Uh, and the second flight today is to do a full practice demonstration with all six aircraft and Fat Albert. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do a full practice and we'll be ready to go. Lieutenant Commander Lee says she was inspired to try and fly the aircraft she worked with daily and is honored to be able to represent the 800,000 Navy Marine Corps out in the world. In Owensboro, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.